What's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. Maybe it's just a test. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. Alright, time to go check the lab console, guys. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where that was. <sighs> no surprise. There seems to be something wrong with the filter station again. This thing loves getting me out of bed. <laughs> All right, something's wrong with the filter station. Is he okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... are they gonna be okay? Let me see... essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. 
all those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What about keeping them secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh. I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. Yeah, the doctor's not over there. All good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's put some pep in the steps. Come on, come on, come on, bro, come on. Confused what was happening. <laughs> I was really confused what was happening. I don't know what just happened completely, guys. At least we are just throw himself in there. Okay, think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. This is Maro. No, it's Cyrus. What? Cyrus? I'm Maro. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations and thinking how interesting it was that... Sai, I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. 
It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. Alright. The all water tube route to the utility the district promises. has now reopened. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. Yeah, the pharmacy would be utility district. The all water tube route to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. Let's see if anybody's here. Don't worry, we'll fix it for you. Call 111. I thought it was utility district. Let's go to water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Okay. And now presenting Yava Pelletier and her poem, Dark Silent Ship. Take it away, Yava! Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinnebaum. Ahem. <clears throat> what is the dark and silent ship that being nowhere neither comes nor goes? That being never has no real time of which we can only say that it flows? How is it that this empty data stream this case of dead light could so lose its way, it wandered back to feed on its own dream. How did that dream grow to the waking day? What is the sound that fades Hey, Chris. Ah, uh, Harold. Didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. Very, uh, moving. And they really look like they're having fun. Yes! I think it's an excellent expression of their young, curious minds. Sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears in expressive verses like this. It just warms my little toes to see. Aww. So, you have a favorite so far? All my students are equal in my eyes, Harold. Like they were my own children. Ah, uh, no, I meant a poem? Oh! <laughs> yes, well, truth be told, it's all Algarabia to me. What does that mean? Well, indeed. What does any of it mean? No, I mean... Never mind. Okay. Please be upstanding or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my... Hello there. Oh, well, hello. You enjoying the show? I most certainly am. I'll enjoy it all the more when my girl performs hers. Oh, that's great. You're a parent. What's her poem about? Oh, <laughs> I believe it will speak for itself. I don't like to brag, but she's rather precocious and... Hang on. Are you not a parent? Me? <laughs> no. I'm just here to listen. Is that quite so? Are you some kind of bohemian poetry lover, <laughs> perhaps? Or rather, a uh, shabby-looking teacher I've not met before. Me? No, I'm just a handyman. Kind of wandered by. A handyman with no professed love for the poetic art, idly watching children perform. And making small talk with the parents, then, hmm? Yes, that's about right. Oh, dear. I do apologize, but would you... Would you wander away? I'm not sure quite how proper it is for me to continue associating with you. Oh, no, it's... Hmm. Okay, I understand. I hope you enjoy your daughter's poem. Yes, er, you too. Bye now! In the dead of night, in the life of day, they lead beyond the veil Oh, Eve, hey, what do you think of... Shh! 
Sorry. Beyond being. And there we will find. Hi there. Oh, hi there. I'm Fern. I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Do you have a kid performing a poem? What? <laughs> no, no kids for me. <laughs> I'm here in my official capacity as a talent scout, man. Oh, so what kind of talent are you scouting for exactly? <laughs> I see hidden talents in many places, man. Maybe I'll get one of those kiddos to write some boss verse for one of the papers. Or assign one as an actor. I got clients all over, man. You got your eye on anyone already? Sure. But, uh, <laughs> I don't want to reveal the hidden talents to the whole world, right? Do myself out of a job. Wait. <laughs> you understand, right? No hard feelings? I think I do. And, yeah, no hard feelings. Don't worry. I'll let you get back to scouting. Thanks, man. <laughs> start from the start. Enjoy the show. And when you see one of these kiddos go on to great things, you'll be able to say you met the man who made it happen. Okay. Please be upstanding or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my poem Sounds weird entitled... to a degree. Ah, Corporal Flounder. What am I going to do with you, eh? No one can ever know about you. You're a living, floundering breach of all the rules in the book. My book, I might add. Oh, the things I do for you. Anyway, Chapter 3, The Merry Band. It was a dark and stormy night when the four intrepid explorers left the fedora in search of the riches that would make their name. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, uh, hi, Major. It's me, Harold. What in the blue blazes are you doing here, boy? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just passing, thought I heard, but then... Well, whatever you heard, or most definitely didn't hear, if you get my drift, is your invasion of my privacy. So perhaps we should just both forget this whole messy incident ever happened, hmm? Oh, yes, of course, Major. I understand. Good. Let me write you a ticket as a reminder. Oh, okay. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse us, I mean, me. Okay. <laughs> I got a tutor on him. Major, have his, uh, Major always had it out for me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. <coughs> la, di, lo, li, lo, lo, lo. It's the Tanway guy. All water. Water. Boogan. Woo, 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 wa, water. Oh, gosh, I should probably just leave. Let him talk to himself in private. Hmm. Did I hear something outside? Hello? Anyone out there? It's okay, you know. I have an open door policy. Well, the front door, not this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello? I'm Harold. I was just passing and noticed the open door. I just wanted to check. Welcome. This is a bathroom announcement. I'm still in the shower, but please deposit your bum on the nearest available seat station. Make yourself at home. This is Radio Fedora. Coming to you from the shower. This just in, I am the voice inside your head. <laughs> Ooh, rub a dub dub. So, uh, you get many visitors? Oh, sure. I have quite a few fans of my voice, actually. I'm always happy for them to swing by and have a listen to some behind the scenes chat. Do you think you'll always be the PA announcer? Ah, interesting question. Well, if I were to ever <laughs> announce my retirement, I think it would be nice to do something a bit more hands-on, you know? Maybe some voice coaching, or learn guitar work to go with my singing. 
Ooh, perhaps Entertainment Onat and I could start a band. Can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. What do you think is my best announcement? I know there's a lot of classics, but if you had to pick just one... Gosh, um, I always like the Thursday greetings. Ah, yes. I write those myself, you know. Wow, that's really great. Keep them up. Ooh, I will. Thank you, but I'd better be going now. Okay, you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> okay, we've got to explore more. Cause there's a lot to explore. That's it. I actually thought a social disc would have the... Uh... Where is that? We had a lot of exploration here, to be honest. Nobody knows. But the answer is there. If you really look hard. It's in the... Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Chris, it looks like one of the kids is locked in the classroom. Well, yeah, she's in detention. Oh, I see. What did she do? When I asked her to stop disrupting the class, she stood up and shouted, Disruption is necessary! Change is optional! Survival is not mandatory! Wow, she's radical then, and at such a young age? Yep. I wouldn't have mind so much, but one of the other kids has anxiety and nearly had a panic attack. She needs to learn to consider that maybe not everyone is quite ready to take on the world. And detention will teach her that? Corey is a good kid. Very bright, full of creativity, but she struggles with authority. She was really looking forward to the poetry slam, and I'll let her out soon to hear most of it. I just want her to understand that disobedience has consequences. Oh, I see. I suppose you can't be seen to be too lenient in case the disobedience catches on. Well, that. And the fact that nothing else I've tried has worked. I never realized being a teacher was so tough. Ha! <laughs> it's worth it. I mean, I hate being strict. But it's better they get it from someone like me who will also forgive them than learn that much harder way later in life. Right? Don't worry, Chris. If I had a kid, I would definitely want you to be their teacher. Thanks, Harold. <laughs> it's pretty funny imagining you with one. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Let's enjoy the poetry now, shall we? Okay, please. Oh, let's go. I don't know, this detour was interesting though. Mm. I wonder if we just need to go to Central Station. Travel in style with all water. 